Hello girls and boys and welcome back to a brand new video. As promised, it is World of Warcraft, but it's not about Legion. I'm seriously, it's taking ages to edit this video together. I've recorded so much footage and I want to make it a really good video, but I'm now worried that it's never going to happen. Anyway, so as soon as I hit 110, I wanted to go back to this raid and try and get them out. Uh, for any of you who have been playing WoW for any length of time, and if you've played through Mr. Pandaria, you will know that this is the first raid you get to, and the last boss can drop Elegon, who's this, um, this beautiful uh, serpent dragon that's see-through and blue and sparkling and stuff. So yeah, so this is um, Mogashu Vault in Kunlao Summit, and... I raided through here when, you know, I was at the appropriate level to raid and being a mage means that it's difficult to go back and solo anything until you get to a high enough item level. And uh, I mean, uh, I'm a Draenei, so I do actually have a healing spell, but it's got a cooldown of three minutes and it doesn't actually heal that much. And so, um, and, and also because I'm DPS and I wear cloth, it means I get hit for quite a lot and my damage isn't as good as a warrior or paladin or things like that. So, um, yeah, so I have to wait. To actually do these solo, I have to wait until two expansions on, which is what Legion is. So, yeah, so I came back here as soon as I hit 110 and managed to do it. And it's it's actually really fun going back and doing this alone. I mean, I did this one a lot back in the day. And I'm actually really loving the fact that I can actually go back on my own now and, and, and do it all. And try and get them out. Which, obviously, is, you know, if most people who play WoW... Are mount collectors because let's face it, the mount's great. Um, yeah, so we go. Uh, I'm going to show you how to go through this. If, if you're a mage and you have the same problems as me, then you'll know that um, yeah, it can be difficult doing raids and dungeons if you're only a few item levels higher. But yeah, so you can now. Uh, this proves that you can go back and get through Mogashu vaults quite easily. I mean, I've I've done it. This was the first week I did it, and I've actually done it every week since. And my DPS is now a lot better because my item level is now to, I think it's 838, something like that. So, yeah, so it's it's a lot better now. But I recorded this one, and I thought this will give you a good, um, a good a good feeling of how to get through it if you're not actually that, that well geared yet. So, yeah, so it's... Um, I, I was planning on um, skipping through the little bits in between, but I like the storyline, and uh, Mists actually was a good expansion. I really did enjoy Mr. Pandaria. Um, and, yeah, so I, especially this this raid's great. And it just... just feels yeah, I can actually one-shot these guys here. To have awakened a spirit of some kind. Yeah, I didn't seem to have any difficulty whatsoever, um, which was good, because when you're mount farming, you don't want to be stories were true. running into a lot of uh, we problems. have disturbed what should not have been disturbed. He cannot be free to escape this prison. You must destroy him. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. I don't actually die once throughout this, which, to be honest, at 110 you wouldn't expect to be dying um, in a, a raid from two expansions ago. Although I did try and do Siege of Agrimar around the same time and didn't get past um, the first boss. So 
it's not to say I can I can do every every raid because I can't. Um, and also, I've been trying to now do the um, the achievement runs for Ulladar, uh, Ice Crown Citadel, and um, the Firelands because for some reason I've never done the achievement runs, and you get mounts from each of the um, uh, each of them. So <laughs> I've, I checked on Firelands, and I've done every single achievement except one and if you know the achievements from the Firelands you'll know exactly which one it is it's the one where you have to have six people in the actual raid to bow down on one of the bosses and of course I've been doing this alone so it's it's actually impossible to get the Firelands achievement by doing it solo which is a pain in the arse but hey ho and my problem with uh, Ice Crown Citadel is I haven't tried. I haven't actually tried it yet. I just um, decided to do it yesterday. And is I, how am I going to heal the dragon? Um, I'm concerned that my drain eye uh, healing spell won't be enough. But I'm going to check it out and I'll see if I can do it first. And if I can, then I'll record it and show you guys how to do it. But um, by now, everyone should be able to. Solo it. I'm just trying to do an achievement run because I really want the uh, the mount. It was actually nice returning to Pandaria. I've ha I've actually had to go back to the garrison a few times, and every time I just hate it so much. Well, of Drano was just a terrible, terrible expansion. It be dying time now. <laughs> He's dead. I do love what he says. Bah! Bested by the likes of you. What a shame for a Zandalari priest to endure. But it ain't no thing. Take your trinkets. You'll be needing them. I be going now. Time to find a new home for me soul. Hello. Death be a doorway and time a window. I'll be back. <laughs> I do. Ah, the ancient vaults of the kings of Mogoshan. What might this button do? Yeah, I was. Um, shouldn't really compare expansions, but of course we all do. I was. Um, I was comparing Legion and Warlords Draenor and. To be honest, I mean, Silvermoon Valley was an amazing place to quest, and some of the cutscenes there were fantastic. But Draenor, well, as Draenor, as a whole, was just literally a hole. Um, far too many problems with it, and uh, Legion already is just far superior uh, as an expansion. I still enjoy playing it, and I think I'd run out of steam after the first few weeks on Draenor. He stole from the rich and kept everything for himself. Yeah, there's no, um, for this raid, there's nothing you actually need to do. It's just tank and spank, basically. If you've got enough DPS, you can just get through it really quickly. Uh, on the next boss, um, it can actually freeze you in place, I think, if you're not quick enough. But it's quite easy to, to get through it without even getting to that stage. According to these texts, Meng was the most foul and maniacal ruler to ever abuse the Imperial throne. I've been playing WoW for eight years, and I've uh, I have many characters, but I always play more like first, and because more like the mage was always the. Uh, who was the first character I ever rolled? So he's my main and is the one that goes through everything first. I'm actually leveling up my paladin at the moment now because 
I'm thinking that that might be useful in. I agent. will crush you in body and spirit. So yeah, in this um, in this uh, boss here, you get you get there's three of them at attack, and so you have to take them all down individually. But it, like I say, it's pretty easy. That's one down. You'll see your mistake soon enough. Sends these um, knights out or guards or something to try and stab you. But to be honest, nothing's going to get through at, at this level. So yeah, so you get st stunned here, look. Um, but I just blinked out of it and it was fine. And on my latest runs, that doesn't happen at all because I've just killed them too quickly. done this in such a long time but just concentrating on killing <laughs> slaughter yourselves for my amusement I, I don't want to die and there we go a secret passage has opened beneath the platform this way And the whole reason we're actually here, the next boss, can drop Eligon, Eligon, um, and I've wanted this man for so Look long. Look at the dust along the floor. These dark halls have not seen footfalls for many centuries. Once, the Mogu enslaved all of the races of Pandaria and bent them to their nefarious will. These Jinyu have been lost in an eternity of service. I, I hear a faint humming. It is coming from this direction. of arcane explosion. This room pulses with energy, but feels unlike any we have seen so far. Fascinating. I have never heard tales of anything like this. The Mogu hide their secrets well. Now, I was... 
uh, I was concerned that I didn't want to kill the boss too quickly because you can't kill him. The Dandaria welcomes you. This can't, seems to can't be kill him first time round. Uh, on device. the first round, sorry. Let's so, see here. just be aware. Uh, because, I mean, now when I do this, I could actually take him down in the, easily in the first round. So, if, you, if you're going to do this boss solo, then just pad it out a bit. Don't attack him so much. Sensors online. Magnificent. Core it talks. At this seems beyond what we thought the mogul were capable of. Identification matrix. So, yeah, so walk into the center. And then attack him, but don't attack him too quickly. Don't don't just go all full force on him. He's not going to kill you. So as you can see, I'm hardly attacking here. I'm just every now and again firing at him. Now, you do want to attack these. So it's a lot easier for a ranged DPS to be able to do this because you can fire out arrows or spells. Or and then you just go around and attack all these. Yeah, get off the platform. When it says get off the platform, make sure you're off it, otherwise you will fall down the center and you will die, and then you'll have to do it all over again. Because the whole platform is gone now. And you'll know when to go back onto the platform again because it'll say come forward or something like that. He'll actually tell you you can actually it's go too back. Far away. There you go. That is how you sol uh, solo uh, Mogashu Volts as a mage, uh, how you defeat Aligon, and how you can possibly get the amazing mount from this boss. And so you come off the platform, you check this box here, and yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get it. But I will keep checking those bags. But luckily, I had a bonus loot. So we'll have a look at that as well. And guess what? It's bloody gold. So, yeah, that's not great either. But I will try again next week, as I have been doing for the past three weeks. And I hope this guide has been helpful. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, take care and goodbye. We are not done yet. Hi, I'm Terry. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below, like and share, and you can also subscribe to my channel here, which will give you more videos like that one. See you soon.